And we are solving a problem basing on Newton's laws of motion. The problem is like this. All the surfaces are smooth, mean to say there is no implication of friction. The acceleration of the mass m relative to the wedge is this mass acceleration we would like to find out. I will just redraw the diagram for the sake of convenience here for you. This is the wedge. On this wedge of mass capital M, there is a small block of mass small m. There is an acceleration acting on the body towards the left. We will talk about it after a few minutes. Let's leave that for a minute and solve the other part of the problem. This is theta. So the we want the acceleration of small m. So we shall know what is the forces acting on this. Being this is having a small mass, it will have its weight acting always in a downward direction mg we can resolve that weight into components because that's a force a vector being this angle is theta this angle is also equal to theta we have proved that many times then this is adjacent to that theta so it will become mg cos theta and then this is yeah this is opposite to the theta which is opposite component of the theta that is mg sin theta. So it's very clear that this block is going to move in a downward direction. In that direction, there is a force acting, force equal to mg sin theta. That's one part of the problem. There is very other interesting part of the problem about this force. There is another acceleration acting on the wedge towards the left, which makes this frame non-inertial. Whenever there is a force acting on a frame for this small block, this wedge becomes a frame of reference. On that frame of reference, there is an acceleration acting makes the frame as a non-inertial frame. We cannot apply Newton laws of motion on a body when you are studying it with a non-inertial frame. So, we shall make it inertial by assuming same pseudo force on the small block on the body, same magnitude but in the opposite direction. So, if we go to that part of the problem to eliminate the impact of this, say, non inertial frame. On this block, I shall imagine a pseudo force and a pseudo acceleration. This is that value. You know, being this angle is theta, this angle is also equal to theta. So that pseudo acceleration also can be resolved into components as what? This is one component yeah. acting adjacent to theta that is a pseudo cos theta and this is the perpendicular component of that a pseudo sin theta anyway neither this mg cos theta nor this a sin theta are going to move the body in any way in that direction perpendicular to the inclined plane and the body's motion is going to be only along the inclined plane so we shall consider only the forces acting along the direction of the motion and accelerations acting in that direction. So, what are the accelerations acting in the direction? This is one acceleration acting down the inclined plane. This is one force acting down the inclined plane. So, the total force or the total acceleration relative to the wedge because we are trying to study with respect to wedge is these two are acting in the same downward direction therefore they shall be added some of that two that is a cos theta and this is the force i need only acceleration so if i eliminate m it will become g sin theta so the total acceleration down the body is this much or if you want Force effective, you can of course multiply with A, MA cos theta and 
mg sin theta. This is how we have to solve the problem. So to solve this problem, we have employed a very important and critical concept that is pseudo force. When we shall use the pseudo force? Whenever we are trying to study a body who is in a frame and that frame is having some acceleration, then that frame becomes non-inertial. To nullify the effect of non-inertial, we shall imagine an equal force or equal acceleration acting opposite on the body that nullifies the impact of this pseudo force and this frame becomes like a inertial frame and we can apply the normal neutral laws of motion. That's how we have to understand the concept. Thank you for watching.